Okay, this is an open challenge to the Christians, the Muslims, and the Jews. And if you've got a different religion, maybe you can join them as well. And if you don't have a religion, you might want to join them as well, just so you can see what's happening to the world very shortly. Now, this is the trick. The um, book, the holy books, were written a long time ago by writers who were paid and commissioned by the elite. The elite has been with us now probably about 10,000 years, and they have been dictating with violence the law of the land. And Moses was the most famous for that. Of course, Moses never really existed in real reality, but he is a character based on the character of the typical ruler. Take a look at George Bush, take a look, look at Adolf Hitler, take a look at any of these. Uh, Napoleon was another famous one. They were all insane, inbred, and very violent. Okay? Now this is our history, and a lot of people think, well, Jesus Christ came to earth and saved everybody. Well, I almost believe that. But the thing is, he got completely turned around. His This Jesus Christ story is buried amongst a horrible mess. And by the time we get through Jesus Christ, we're a little bit confused about what he wants. But once we get to Paul... He ruins everything. He goes right on back to the style of Moses, dictatorship, and rule. And this whole concept is still our concept. We are still being dictated to. We think in the United States of America that there's such a thing as democracy. Are you crazy? You've got one idiot or another idiot supported by the same owners of the continent. There is no such thing as democracy. There has never been democracy in the the United States of America, probably not even in Canada, since the Europeans got there. There might have been a little bit of democracy before they got there, but they got there, wiped out 50 million people. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty serious genocide. And, well, we won't get this too much longer. Read the Bible. Okay, I'm going to say it again in a second. If you are a if you are a believer, if you are a believer, it is law, it is the law of Moses to read the Torah every seven years. If you are a Christian, Jew, or Muslim, they all base their religion on the teachings or the dictatorship, the tyranny of Moses. And you are, by law of Moses, obliged to read the book every seven years. And there are so many people on this planet who have never, ever read it and claim to be Christian, Muslim, or Jew. How can you do that? How can you claim to be something if you don't know what it is? I mean, there are a lot of people that claim to be humans and don't know what humans are, but that's not the point. See, a Christian and a Jew is, and a Muslim is a separation of reality to a fantasy. And if you were going to be preaching your fantasy... You better know what your fantasy is, so you'll understand why people object violently to your violence. So I'll say it just one more time, and then we're done for this one. Read the Bible. Read the Quran if you're Muslim. Read it from start to finish. I think with the Quran you're supposed to read it from finish to start. However, just read every word. Read it maybe even twice if you get the time. It's worth turning your, off your television to understand what it is you believe and why other people don't believe it. And you're going to be awful surprised, and I've heard this said by other people many a time, the quickest way to become an atheist is to read the Bible. Now that's a challenge for you, to see if you can read through the Bible without becoming an atheist. And what more honest challenge could you have? We're not asking you to wear, because I'm not the only person that's saying this. A lot of people are saying the quickest way to become an atheist is to read the Bible. Okay? So do it. Don't be afraid of it, because being the atheists, an atheist is like waking up to the fact that the one true God concept is a lie. Okay? That's all we're trying to get to. 
As soon as we realize that the one true God concept is a lie, we can get on to becoming beginner gods. I mean, we don't have to rush into it. we got a time. The universe is good for another hundred billion years. So we can take it nice and easy, nice and slowly. And if you need some help understanding the Bible, because it's a little bit difficult, mostly it's a little bit tedious. It's not as difficult as it is tedious. Take it slowly. If you need something a little lighter, um, I'll include the link to the Barbara Alba Bible, and it's written with a little bit of, um, it's just the Torah and the New Testament. A lot of the Old Testament is just tedious and rerun. You read as much as you can, but you have to read the Torah. It's the, the Law of Moses, and of course the story of Jesus is pretty good. And this, I actually even got to like Paul because he, he forces you, he forces you out, and... He, and yeah, I think the book is actually quite brilliant and that it was actually written to be a self-destructive, implosive, it was designed to push the reader, they didn't even read back then, there was, reading was going to take another couple thousand years before people could do it. The Bible was designed to get the reader to wake up to the fact that we are being ruled by dictators who are inbreds and mad. And, and it's right there in the book. They're called the Warlords. Read the Bible. It will save us. Read it. Just do it. Especially if you're a believer, read the Bible.